Nation, we got a goodie tonight. Shout out to everybody here in the building already. Make sure you guys wipe them feet on the way in, meaning hit them thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I got my brother in the building, fifth member of Mount Shilmore, <laughs> my brother, Mitchell Rams. What's good, bro? What's up, man? I'll tell you what, that intro, that's cool. Like I'm, That's a good song. That's catchy as hell, but you're going to have to find uh, some new video to that because there's a lot of old yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on the way. They're on the way. I got I got <laughs> a bunch of different intros on the way. Salute also to my brother Mitch, man. He got that straight out of Oak Las Vegas t-shirt on today. If you guys want to go grab one of those, go to oaklasvegas.com. It's pinned up top. One of the best ways to support what we do over here, man. So I hit up my brother today, man. I said, you know what? Try and get a cool 30 minutes in, maybe 45 at best. Um, before the draft, because we all know it's about to pick up this week. It's about to be insane. We'll be yep. in Vegas. I know you guys are going to be covering the draft over at Chat Sports. You guys will probably be live 30, 40 hours the next, you know, those three days probably. I know you guys are going to be going crazy. Yep. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about all this smoke today because there's a lot of smoke, a lot of, you know, a lot of the times, though, where there is smoke, there is, you know, th there's this fire. Yeah, there's a fire, fire, right? Fire. But yeah. Some of the some of the stuff that's going on right now, I'm not sure, you know, it's really real. And I'm definitely going to talk to talk about that with you as well. Uh, look, my brother Mitch is on the show, so I'm already having some drinks, y'all. So you got to bear <laughs> with me today. Um, you already know. But um, right now, Mitch, we're on the clock right now, bro. We're at seven. Today is the draft Thursday, right? Right now. You're Zeke. Who's your pick at number seven? Oh boy. Um, if I can't trade back because I am always team trade back, I really do think it would help out this team a lot. Yeah. Uh, if I'm Ziegler and McDaniels, what's crazy to me is I would say probably two weeks ago, I would have looked at every single one on here and I would have said Chris Gonzalez, and it's, you know, that's probably the route I would go. Okay. However, you know, I, I can remember a show I did with you two two months ago with Devin Witherspoon, all the hype around that train. Yep. I, I think that that's the route that they're going to go with. Like, to me, you hear a lot of smoke, and like you said, and I say it all the time on my show, there's smoke, there's fire. But to me, Devin Witherspoon, like what he brings to the table probably fits more with what Ziegler and McDaniels want in a cornerback Probably more than what Chris Gonzalez does. Now, Gonzalez is another great player overall. But to me, Witherspoon right now is a little bit more polished than Gonzalez. And it sounds like they are going to want somebody who's more, I would say, polished instead of then going out and getting a Gonzalez. And Witherspoon, he's uh, he can kind of just do it all. And yeah. you know, I got I to gotta give you some flowers on that because you know, we were saying like, oh, maybe we could get him in the second round two, three months ago. To me, though, I, I think it would actually be Devin Witherspoon. Okay. Are you buying any of the hype around the, um, you know, Peter Skaronsky, you know, out of, out of Northwestern at, at seven? I mean, I, I don't think the value is there. Like, you can't take a tackle, a guy that's played predominantly tackle at the collegiate level, convert him to a guard, and, and sell that to the nation with the value at pick seven. Do I think he's going to be great at the next level? Definitely. I think he can actually be an all-pro talent. 
But yep. do you think it is smart to take him over Devin Witherspoon if they're both on the board at seven? Because Detroit may grab him. They, they may take him. They just got rid of Jeff Okuda, sent him up to yep. Atlanta. That didn't work. They can use another corner. They did go get Cam Sutton, and uh, they went and got a bunch of guys. You know, so we, we can keep the list yep. going. But at this point, are you buying that, that maybe we're going guard? At seven? You know, what's, what's crazy to me is Peter Skaronsky is actually like one of my favorite prospects in this year's draft, and he's been one of my guys because you, – You've been yeah. talking about it for a while. I, I, I mean, I he, that. offensive line isn't sexy, but I am always going to be a believer that, you know, you can win in the trenches. And to me, he is one of the best overall offensive line prospects out there, like that I've seen in quite some time. And that's just my ability to diagnose. Like, yeah, he's never played guard before, but you just watch him play. He's going to be just fine. Like, I really do think he's going to be a all pro level offensive lineman, but to take a lineman over a defensive player in this year's draft, I think for the Raiders would be very foolish. If you had your heart set on Skaronsky or an offensive lineman, again, just just you know trade back because the value to me, it's going to be there. Would I be surprised, though, by this Raiders regime if they did that? No, I, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever because we entered free agency and we we're thinking, all right, we're going to go out and spend all this money on the defensive side of the football and that just hasn't been their concentration. We know McDaniels is an offensive-minded dude, and if he's like, I want Skaronsky on my O-line, kick him, put him at left guard, you can probably then, I don't know, Parham can play right guard if you really need to, but we'll see. I, I think the craziest part about this year's draft is, yes, the Raiders have all these picks, but trying to guess what McDaniels and Ziegler are going to do is just, just about as damn near impossible as you could even ask. If, if Devin Witherspoon is there and your guy, Skaronsky, and Jalen Carter, they all fall. <laughs> is there yep. any way that you're passing up on a potential generational talent with Jalen Carter at the defensive tackle position? To me, if the Raiders did their homework, and there's a lot of other NFL teams out there, because sometimes I do believe in this, if a player like Carter starts to slide – it means that there were things that were found that not just one NFL team found, multiple Seven. teams found, right? Mm -hmm. And I think for other NFL franchises out there, you can take the risk on Jalen Carter. To me, this Raiders team simply can't. And no. is that unfair to the Raiders? Yeah, maybe it is a little bit. You look at the Henry Rugg situation, they're different situations. But we have also been in this, this point for the Raiders where – over the past year, two years, the spotlight has been more of off-the-field shit compared to the on-the-field stuff. And with Jalen Carter, like there is obviously that risk there. Now, do I think in a perfect draft, Jalen Carter can be that dude and then you can get another really solid cornerback at like 38, pick 70, wherever you want to get it? Like, yeah, there's a lot of good depth there. But unfortunately for this Raiders team, Jalen Carter is a huge, huge gamble. And I just... I don't think that you can do that because, to me, Devin Witherspoon is can't miss. Yeah. Peter Skaronsky is can't miss. Like, they might not be that generational of a talent. I think they're all going to be good. Yeah. But to me, like, they're can't miss. If you miss on Jalen Carter, you're done, and their jobs will be over. So let's keep this train going. C.J. Stroud is there at seven. Now, <laughs> you know, all these guys are coming out right now saying, you know, um, yeah, the, 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 the test and blah, blah, blah. Now the Raiders, you know, are going to pass on a quarterback. Um, CJ Stroud, a guy that wants to be a Raider, grew up watching the Raiders, grew up in the LA area. If Stroud is there at seven, man, can you live with just taking our QB right there at seven and, and going all defense after that? I mean, this is the, the crazy part to me where I still probably say no, right? Because to me, I don't want to just look at, like, if you're going to sell people on the longevity, right? Because if you're going to take a quarterback at seven, you're still selling the longevity of, like, that's going to be your guy. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, there's a little bit of a pipe dream here. But to me, if I'm looking at quarterback talent and quarterback talent alone, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, they might be four, five, maybe three if you involve them in the quarterback class next year. To me, 
you're not going to play the quarterback this year no matter what. Jimmy G is going to play this year. So for me, would I rather take C.J. Stroud at seven and then let him sit behind Garoppolo and then play him as a sophomore, or, and I get it, you get him at seven, or could I invest some extra draft capital and go out and get a Drake May, go out and get a Caleb Williams, and I'd rather play those two guys as true rookies than Stroud at where he's at. Because at the same time, if you don't, if you make no adjustments whatsoever to your defense, we're just going to be doing the same conversation and loop de loops for what I've been, what we've been doing for three, four years now. We have a good offense, but if your defense can't do anything, like I'm just, I'm sick and tired of having the exact same conversation. But again, though, if C.J. Stroud's available, if you're the Raiders. You better pick up the phone, you call Tennessee, you pick up the phone, you give, I mean, Washington, it doesn't matter. Like, let's figure it out, because then I would rather the Raiders trade back. Even if you don't get a first-round pick or, like, a second-round pick in this year's draft, I'd rather you get an extra first and maybe an extra second in 2024, and then that's going to help you go up and get your guy. Like, if that's what you want to do with it. quarterback, that's the route I go. I love it. Now, you guys, shout to the nation. I'm about to pour me another shot, because – so, Mitch, I didn't tell you I was doing this tonight, right? Um, we have another one of our brothers backstage that wants to pop in for about 10 minutes. Okay, um, I'm good. Our, our guy, you know what I mean? I do not believe I've had you guys on screen together at all, ever. Um, but we're all in the same circle. We're all family. Um, let's get our brother Raider Cody in the building. <laughs> What's going yeah, on, guys? Think- Holy shit. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever been on camera with Cody. Now we've done some stuff off yeah. camera, Giggy, yeah. but yeah, He's on camera giggy. never. <laughs> no, this is cool. For those who do not know, um, Mitch is now officially blackout family. Um, you know, we're mm-hmm. doing some stuff with Chat Sports and uh, you know, the Raiders report. So shout out to our brother with that. With all the events that we have going on in Vegas, we're definitely going to get uh, get Mitch and Chugs at some point uh, out this season. We've got to get Chugs, man. You know, that, that's the dynamic duo, man. You know what I mean? We can but, do it. Um, Cody, what's good, bro? What's popping, man? Just getting ready for the draft, dude. It's going to be a uh, big three days for the nation. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, the event where, you know, the tides turn. Last year we had Devontae Adams come in, and we were hyped no matter what happened. We could have went out there and just, you know, picked from freaking – the bottom up and Raider fans would have been happy with the draft uh, this year, man, we're, we're banking on it. So, uh, you know, no matter what Raider fans look for the best and everything. And I think it's, uh, it's going to be a big three days. Definitely. Shout out to everybody here in the chat. You guys shout out to our brother, Samoan Raider, always showing love and hey, shout out to you in that interview that the O's did Mr. Fitz, man. I believe they had Ike Brown on the other day. Great interview. Oh, I'm always watching, man. Salute to you guys and what you guys are doing over there. Um, so Thursday, Barco Burgers, uh, we will be covering this draft Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, look, you guys, we are not the people to step on each other's toes. We love what Mitch and them do. I'm going to I'm gonna open up a separate window and watch their stuff while we're doing our stuff as well, because that's <laughs> how we rock. We want our brother to get those views as well. Um, I got to ask Mitch real quick. And I know, Cody, you know, I know you like to dive into the draft a little bit. I know that's not really your forte, you know what I mean? But is there some late round guys now now that you've actually went through the process because i know early on we talked about the draft and you know everybody was still everybody kind of does their process a little different we we chill more we kind of are like nerds when it comes to this we're already watching it during the regular season and i know mitch really does too as well but i know you start really diving into it um you know when our season is pretty much wrapped up is there any names out there that you've been looking at in terms of to mid mid to late round picks that you can definitely look at as us looking at guys like, you know, I can throw a couple names out there, you know, Jacorian Bennett out of Maryland, the speedy corner. Um, you know, he may be there in the mid to later rounds. We can potentially look at, I, look, I can go on forever. I'd say, give me a position. That's, that's probably the easiest way. Okay. Cause what positions do you think we attack in the later rounds? Cause I think it's easy to say we're going to go linebacker corner, um, you know what I mean? Maybe get a DT if possible in those first three rounds. We're going to attack the defensive side of the ball, and those are the three definite flaws that we have. Let's just say safety, tight end potentially, and maybe a receiver, mid to later rounds. I would say my favorite receiver prospect, and I always have a hard time pronouncing his name. He's from a small school, Princeton. That's like Lovis. Oh, yes. 
Yes, Isabella. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I, I've been. I, I'm telling you, his his name is just. It's an L, and then it's all vowels. There's an yeah. S and a V in there. Uh, I think he's in a really really good talent. At safety, a safety that I like really late, his name is Gervarius Owens from Houston. Okay. Really good athlete, could be a good special teams player. And then you said tight end. I'm just going to go with the tight end that I just continue to love, Zach Kuntz. Really good athlete out of Old Dominion. Another tight end that I could see the Raiders liking is Cameron Latu from Alabama because of the pedigree. But he also finished, I believe, the highest on the S2 test out of any tight end out there. And... I just figured that's something that McDaniels would probably get his rocks off to. So there you go. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So those are some names, you guys, that you guys probably are not familiar with. I love that Alabama uh, uh, pickup, though. I, I would love that. That's that's a sneaky name that not a lot of people are talking about. And the Houston uh, young pup. I like that. I like that. Shout out to our brother, uh, Hammer. He said, Cody is Mitch and Mitch is Cody. <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. So, you know, you know, those positions are great to fill in the gaps, but what about linebacker? Our linebacker room is like dead empty. Shouldn't we yeah. drafting like three guys in this draft? Have to. I mean, you have to at least get two. And and, and to be honest, one of them has to be a short sure, sure thing starter. Like like yeah. You, you know, and and personally, I would love to trade back from that seven spot to the middle and uh, the middle of the first and maybe pick up another second or third and attack that linebacker spot in the second round the Jack Campbells of the world out of Iowa, the Drew Sanders out of Arkansas. There's so many good guys. Like, and there's probably going to be some guys that fall to the third and fourth round um, uh, linebackers. Dorian Williams out of Tulane, a sneaky name to keep an eye on. Um, but we're going to attack the linebacker position for sure, Cody. That, I mean, bro, I think we need at least two in the first four rounds, five rounds, and then maybe we can go get maybe a one in the later or a UDFA. But we have to, bro. That That is the most non-existent room that we have on this roster is, is the linebacker position. Divine Diablo has not been proven to do anything yet. Luke Masterson played pretty well for us last year as a UDFA, but that's still up in there. Darian Butler, undersized, UDFA. Um, I mean, come on, man. Robert Spillane, I, look, I, I would be very afraid if he has the green dot come week one. Um, I met uh, Alex two weeks ago, went out with Robert Spillane's, I guess, fiance or wife or he should, they were partying down here in Dallas and um what was funny they started like talking about like what I do for a living yeah and then was like talking about some of the names and the girl she was like oh well what do you think of Spillane and I was like nah don't love the move <laughs> Yeah, that one didn't go well. I'll be honest. Then that was an awkward encounter. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I mean, how am I supposed to know? Spillane's not gonna be on the show, bro. Oh, oh, that Spillane. I was talking about the other Spillane. (laughs) I mean, he's. I will say, I'm hoping that Spillane turns out to be like a Nick Kwiatkowski type of move, where he's he's gonna be a worker. He's gonna go out there, and I think if Quit never would have gotten injured, he would have ended up being a good fit. But to me, Spillane, uh, I'm, we'll see. I mean, we definitely overpaid him, but, you know, it is what it is. I do think, though, linebacker, we got to go. I, I don't like to say that I can kind of predict what the Raiders are going to do. But to me, like the areas where the Raiders are going to get aggressive, I think you're going to see those three-fifths, two-six, two-sevenths. I think you're really going to see that get condensed down to, like, an extra fourth and maybe – Maybe they can sneak their way into another third, another fifth round pick. Like I think that they're going to use that ammo and trade up just because when you look at the amount of top 30 visits that they did, 80% of those players are going to get taken probably from the third round to middle five, maybe even like four at least, according to our rankings at Chat Sports. So I do think that they're going to get pretty active there in the middle rounds, but um, my favorite linebacker that you could probably get maybe on day three, Ivan Pace Jr. from Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yes. He he doesn't he doesn't jump off the screen to me, but I, I am a sucker for guys who are just good football players where you know he might not run the best 40 time. He might not do all of these athletic underwear, you know, Olympic things that you're looking for at the combine, yeah. but he just makes plays. And those are the guys that I want. And, and check out PlanetRaiders.com, you guys. Big Mike, one of our number one writers over there, just did an article on um, Ivan Pace Jr., man, out of Cincinnati. They've been dropping some nice defenders out of that school as of late. The Kobe Bryants of the world, 
you know what I mean, uh, the sauce gardeners of the world. Maybe we, maybe we get lucky with one of those Cincinnati guys. Let me read these supers real quick, and I want Cody um, to break down real quick what we got going on uh, with Chat Sports and um, our Blackout Division giveaway. Shout out to Jose. Hey, Graf, what up? What about CB, Trevius, Hodges, uh, Tomlinson? I believe that's the TCU corner. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not that high on him. Um, there's other guys that I like in, in, in those middle rounds. Uh, you guys know I'm very high on Emmanuel Forbes um, out of Ole Miss, um, you know, or Mississippi State. I'm sorry. Um, and there's some other guys that I'm – the Kobe uh, – what is it? Kobe Trice out of uh, Purdue, um, a guy that – Corey really, Trice. Oh, that's Corey my guy. Trice. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Richard Sherman – um, measurable wise, I'm not going to say game because that that's a you know a little different. But a, a guy that we can get in those later rounds. But I'm not that big on um, Trevius Hodges uh, Tomlinson. He's not um, very not not very versatile. One of the guys at, at work, he watched. He's a TCU grad, so he watched every single TCU game, and he's uh he said he's 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 okay. Like he's not going to do anything groundbreaking for you. I mean, he's he's a corner. I, I think if the Raiders were to get him. You know, you'd kind of like if you went out to eat and got, I don't know, ice cream. Cody looks like a vanilla guy, but, I mean, maybe <laughs> if you ordered vanilla, then that, that'd be what he is. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jose, keep an eye on the uh, the guard out of TCU. And maybe in the later rounds, I'm not that uh, big of a fan of this guy, but maybe D. Winters, the linebacker, I'm in the later rounds. Keep an eye on him. But um, I'm not that big uh, with the TCU talent this year outside of, you know, their star uh, wide receiver, I think. Um, their quarterback is going to be maybe a UDFA. Yeah, I, I don't see him, Max. I don't see him balling at the next level. But um, shout out to my dog, Jose, as always. And shout out to James, man. Three-way. Nice. So we staying at seven. Uh, if we're staying at seven and 38, give me your picks. Me personally, I, if I'm the Raiders, right, if, if I'm thinking for them, I think it's going to be Devin Witherspoon at seven. And then at 38, I'm going linebacker potentially. Um, maybe it could be Drew Sanders out of Arkansas or uh, Jack Campbell. What, what, do you, what do you think, uh, Mitch? What you got, man? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to – Drew Sanders has been my number one linebacker, so to be different, uh, I'll go a different route here. I know some people said that the top 30 visits don't matter for the Raiders as much as, like, what it's being made out to be, but it does scare me a little bit that some of these, like, top corners, like, weren't top, you know, visits because maybe with McDaniels and Ziegler it's, it's like a tiebreaker – yeah. Where when we when we interviewed Devin Witherspoon at the combine, they were like Raiders never talked to me, so yeah. that was a little bit alarming. And just going off of what you know, McDaniel's and Ziegler it seems like if you've had a past or previous relationship with them, that w outweighs a lot. So because of that, I do wonder if they go with Joey Porter Jr. at the cornerback position or something like that. Well, and then maybe they ended up going with. I don't know, with Jack Campbell since they ended up meeting with him. I, I know they like Henley a lot. I, I do think that it's a little early to take him at 38, but I, uh, I'll, I'll go with a top corner, top linebacker. That's what I would bet my money on. Yeah, maybe we get lucky Desmond and Kalijah Kansi is there, out of, you know, out of pit at 38. I would definitely uh, take him at, at the 38. Real quick, Thanks. man, shout out to Ty. Salute Docs, Mitch, and Cody. Uh, Kuntz, Hooker, perfect names for Vegas. Seriously, though, at least two starting corners this draft is needed. Y'all thoughts? I mean, we definitely need one. I think that Duke Shelley has one of those spots right now, if it's on paper, and that's not really saying a lot. because Love I mean, Duke Shelley. Real. I do, too. I, I, I love his game. If you guys watch his tape, he really bought out for Minnesota last year with that terrible defense. I think he's going to be a blessing in disguise for us. But um, yep. we need one true starter. If we can get two, great. Because, look, people are going to kill me for this, and I've been saying this for the past few lives. Nate Hobbs still has to prove to me that he's a starter in this league. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not here. Look, I'm a huge fan of him. I think that he can get it done. He's got to stay healthy this year, and he has to be able to play, whether it's in the nickel spot or on the outside. I don't care. He has to ball. He has to show that he belongs on this defense, especially as a starter moving forward. Um, Agreed. Real quick, man, shout out to our brother Cody once again, man. Break down what we got going on at Blackout Division, brother. We have a giveaway right now that we're doing with Chas Sports and our brother Mitch over at the Raiders Report. Let, let the nation know what's up. I know we already have a lot of people that submitted, but we want even more. So let's yeah. Them. Real quick, uh, everyone that's watching, wipe them feet for these two because, honestly, if you got like two or three hours with these two in the room, you probably learn way more than you needed to because I'm sitting here for 10 minutes and I'm like, 
all the <laughs> info. I'm like, man, it's impressive. So, uh, Mitch over at Chat Sports, the Raiders report is giving away two tickets to the home opener, right? So, obviously, we don't have the date set yet, but the first home game in Las Vegas, tickets for two great seats, uh, about middle of the stadium, front row, great view, uh, as well as, you know, entry to our party, free yeah. party bus ride, tailgate, all access. You get the full-blown blackout experience. All you got to do is go to blackoutdivision.com. Uh, Mitch is going to be talking about it on his channel, obviously, during the draft, but Mitch is actually going to be announcing the winner somewhere around the schedule release. So as soon as we know when that home opener game is, we're going to pick that winner. We're going to deck him out in some gear, you know, get him a, some residency hats, Woodson yeah. whiskey, and deck him out in some Woodson, Charles Woodson jerseys. Um, it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, uh, definitely as soon as we thought of an idea about doing a big giveaway, we're like, hey, this is the time to get Mitch involved, get him on the team, and uh, definitely glad to have him aboard. Obviously, my guy here, Graf, uh, has been rocking with us since uh, last year, but uh, always looking to add, and everybody here in the chat, man, be on the lookout. I mean, we're looking to you know open up some memberships or something like that to – to be a part, you know what I mean? The Blackout Division is kind of a movement to where we're trying to, you know, recreate the fan base a little bit. Be creative, be different. Now that we're in Vegas, you know, what can we do? Um, obviously, we, we pour a lot of passion into the content, but we know what we want to do when we want to go have fun in Vegas. Uh, yeah. All three of us do. So if we can put our minds together and more and everyone else behind the scenes, I uh, promise you guys aren't going to be disappointed if you uh, rock your Vegas weekends with us. There you go. Shout out to Omar real quick. I'm, I'm going to read that. In one second, my brother, I got you on that. I have to read this real quick. Shout out to Hammerman. Blackoutdivision.com. Enter for your chance. Just win, baby, man. Just, just an email win. address. Yeah. We will, we'll be talking about it, like Cody said. I think right now it's scheduled. We'll talk about it at least one time every hour during our draft coverage, which, like Doc said, I mean, I'll probably be live for close to, I don't know, 30 40 hours over the next three, four days or so. So you guys will definitely be hearing a, a lot about it. So please go check it out. And then I've already talked to Cody. There's a really good chance, I would say, that Chugs and I, we're going to be out there for at least one of the events. Obviously, we'll see what happens with Two. some of the other stuff. But <laughs> definitely one. Definitely one. Um With then, I, I hope we can do two. Hell, I'd love to do, you know, more than that. But we'll – Yeah. We'll – We'll have a good time, so there's no doubt about it. So please enter an email. It's free. It's really cool stuff. Yeah, cool. And, and, and you guys, it's easy peasy, man. Just go to blackoutdivision.com and put your email in. Just and an email. You'll be already in there to win those two tickets and a whole bunch of other shit attached to it. You know what I mean? And if you guys have not been to our blackout parties, I'm telling y'all now, they were crazy even when we were losing. Like, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> like, so let's just hope that you know we start our winning ways early this season. And and because they're even funner when we're winning. I'm telling you right now, week 17, two years ago, we beat the Chargers to go into the playoffs. That blackout party was one of the greatest parties yeah. ever, ever, ever. Like, that's legendary, bro. So um, make sure you guys come out at some point during the season. Every home game will be live out there. Oh, the odds are very slim. I don't think Jalen Carter even drops to seven. I think that one of those teams, there's a lot of guys in front of us that are defensive-minded teams. The Arizona Cardinals may take them. Seattle may take them. I know Pete Carroll loves, you know, taking the defensive side of the ball in these drafts. That's how he built the Legion of Boom. I don't think he makes it to seven at all. I think there's going to be some teams that are going to be very high on him and they're being very quiet because they don't want to, they don't want to tip their hand. So, uh, but if he's there, me personally, I'm taking him. I think he's a generational talent and I, I, I would not want to miss out on that. Hey, uh, I got to get running real quick. I'll yeah. let you guys get back to the to the crazy nerd talk because you guys are awesome at it. Um, I'll just sit here. I'll be a spectator. I'm going to be the same thing that I'm doing right now, but it'll just be through my phone listening in. So you guys hey, keep real, doing real your thing. Quick, before we read the super, Cody, is there anything else you want the nation to know while you're here, my brother? Uh, yeah, if you do end up going to Barcode Burgers, I recommend either one, the Hangover Burger, or the King because they're both great. I'm sure Mitch and Graf can testify to that because they've both been there eating their food. Goated facts. <laughs> Love you, brother. We'll, we'll talk got. tomorrow, man. All right, my brother. Cool. Later, guys. Peace, Cody. Shout out to my brother, Cody. We got Mitch for a few more minutes, you guys. Actually, bless. He just moved into his new place, so he's doing some unpacking. So this is not going to be that, that long of a show. Just wanted to shoot this shit a little bit. Shout out to Hawk, man. Trade seven to Washington for pick 16 in a 2023 third. Get Porter Jr. at 16. Benton at 38. The DT out of Wisconsin, you guys, for those who don't know. Use pick 100. And Washington's third to trade up into the second 
and get a linebacker like Sanders, Campbell, or Henley if any are available. That's a lot. That's a lot to unpack right there, Mike. And um, hey, uh, hey Mitch, personally me for me though, I mean personally. He's saying go from seven back to sixteen, and all you're getting is a third. No way in hell. Uh, yeah, you need more than like that. I, yeah, no. That it I would need. It starts with the second at that point. I would need wait. Like if if all you're getting is a third, and you're swapping a first, I would also want a first and probably a third in next year's draft as well. Talk that shit, Mitch. Hey, do me a favor, Mitch. Read that name. What is his name on here? Um, the I guy that you put the. The guy that just put the um, the super up. Oh, it's uh, Josh loves Mike Hawk. Oh, I think that's what okay. It is. You motherfucker, got you. All right, yeah, that that definitely backfired on me. Um, shout out to I figured Juan, Mike man. Hawk would. Back. <laughs> shout out to Juan. Just with the barcode burgers, great experience. Uh oh. <laughs> What's up, Mama? Hey. <laughs> hey. Who, who, who loves his hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We we chilling with the cock talk. Okay? She loves Mike. Now she probably <laughs> loves Mike. <laughs> Shout out to Juan. Just with the barcode burgers. Great experience. Saw Mitch on the big screen. That's dope. Shout out to Juan. Shout out to Juan. There, I might be getting friends. a. I might be getting a billboard in Oakland soon. So get ready. In the town <laughs> or in Vegas? In uh, between San Francisco and the town, we've been looking into billboards. They're a lot cheaper than they are in Vegas. So, <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So we might, we might. I love that. Shout out to Juan. Got a couple more minutes with Mitch, man. You guys get your comments in real quick, and um, let, let's let's get them in, man. Shout out to Patrick B. Shout out to Paul Gaines, Kenna. Everybody here in the building. Shout out to Dodgers. Everything good. Draft video earlier, Mitch. Definitely sounds like something McDaniel's and Ziegler would do. Um, yeah, give, give everybody it. a little refresher real quick on how, how your how your video went earlier. So I dropped the video today that was a mock draft that I wouldn't necessarily do, but I literally just did it based on what I think the Raiders could potentially do. And I essentially broke it down to reports, rumors, top 30 visits, all of those reasons is why I went with the players that I did in my mock draft, which just dropped today. Please go check it out. Uh, a little, little bit different than what I usually do with mock drafts. I mean, I've made five to ten mock drafts at this point, so I was like, how can I do it a little bit different? And that was the route that I did. Okay. And me and Hammer will be dropping our final mock draft tomorrow, you guys, before I get on that plane to head out to Vegas. Shout out to Jose real quick, man. Graf and Mitch, do you guys know anything about – yes, I definitely know about TT out of USC. And would you guys take him in the third? If he's there in the third, I, I have no problem. He slimmed down a lot. He's probably going to be a defensive end, be an edge rusher at the next level. Um, I, I wanted him initially in the second because I thought he was going to play inside more. You know what I mean? And, and now seeing where he is with his frame and his weight, I don't know if that's going to translate to the next level. So I'm assuming he'd be an edge rusher at the next level. I mean, do you feel any different about that, Mitch? Tell me out of USC. My problem is I don't love him. Okay. And the reason I, I just don't love anything about him where I'm trying to like think of an analogy. Like it's almost like when you build an NFL player on Madden and instead of making everything like really good, you just all you just leave him at 70. Like I just I don't love anything about him. So if he's there like in the fourth, then yeah, I'd probably do it. Third, I don't love it. Okay. Now, this is the last question for Mitch, because I know we gotta get out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be live for another 20 minutes, you guys, so we can we can kick the shit. Um, I want to ask you, because I asked, who else did I ask this? I've been asking everybody the past week. I asked Mo Moten on the show. Um, I asked everybody. Who is your shocker at seven? Your shocker that you're like, wow. Like Gruden and Mayock are still in the building. Like that kind of shocker. Like Brian Breezy at seven kind of shocker. I'll say, I mean, probably I would, probably would have said Peter Skaronsky, but we've already talked about him a little okay. bit where I could see the Raiders trying to bolster that interior line because that's what they want to do. They want to try to build their offense a little bit more. If you want me to go away from that and go a little bit more surprising, I'll go with Kalijah Cansey at seven. And the only reason is because they know they need a defensive tackle. Okay. And Cansey really showed out well at the Senior Bowl when Patrick Graham was his coach at that game. So... The fact that Graham has previously coached him, the defensive tackles in last year's class didn't really stand out, and cansey has been a good player. So I think for all those reasons, I'll I'll say Kalijah Cansey. 
Okay. I like that. And a lot of people are kind of low on him because of his size. And, yep. you know, and everybody's trying to compare him to Aaron Donald. He is not Aaron Donald, you guys. They went to the same school and they played the same position. That's about it. That's not Aaron Donald. But I definitely think he can be a, 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 a bulldozer at the next level. Mitch, my brother, go unpack. Love you. Uh, We're going to catch up soon in person. Um, I'm going to sure. hit you when I get back from the draft. And we definitely got to get, get get our women together and, and do what we do. Date night once again. Um, cool. So salute to you, bro. You want to let the nation know anything on your way out? Um, honestly, just go check out the blackout division. Like, like Cody said, we're giving away some tickets, gonna do a really cool game day experience, do a really cool party. I'm hoping that Chugs and I are going to be able to get out there, but you know, just like Graf, he's going to be live for the draft, which I figured we could maybe do something like a, a friendly challenge if you're down. I mean, yeah. so a lot of times like at chat sports, there'll, there'll be like a, a channel that wants to try to take down the Raiders report. So they'll be like, all right. Can you uh, can you get me drunk or can like we'll just do some challenge? Maybe we could figure out a way where we could do some sort of super chat, crazy palooza of a challenge, go at each other for a little bit. Let's we go. won't be able to probably do it round one, uh, just because I know how my bosses are. But day three, when it gets a little bit crazy, if you guys are still doing your thing, just let me know. But I'll be I'll be live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, y'all for probably yeah like thirty hours. So check it out, Raider Sport YouTube. I love it, man. Go finish up the house, man. Tell uh, tell Alex, man, we're, we're proud of you guys and happy for you guys in your new place. Um, we cool. got to get Chuck and Chloe together, like we said, soon too, bro. Shout out to my brother, Mitch. Have a blessed night, my brother. Yes, sir. Shout out to our bro, Mitch, man. Came through and blessed the channel tonight. Salute to everybody here in the building. We're still going. We are not done, you guys. Uh, we're going to talk some football, get your questions in, you guys. Um, I actually sent the invite to a few other people to pull up on the show tonight as well so we're gonna have fun for a little bit we're gonna talk a little bit shout out to my brother jason hunter just jumping in and say hi fellas keep up the great content raider nation for life i appreciate you my brother thank you as always to my dog jason hunter on all the love and support he shows the channel you guys wipe them feet man hit them thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscribe button is this cody's first show in the year no we've done a lot of them can actually as of late and me and cody actually have a new uh, blackout podcast. It's audio only, but we will be dropping some um, some visuals soon as well. But we just dropped episode one of the blackout podcast last week. Go to blackoutdivision.com. You can hear the first episode. It was me, Cody, um, my brother, Kenny King Jr. and Wasted Talent on there as well. So go check it out. Shout out to my brother, Jose. Graf, what about Jonah Tavai out of ST? See, this is another guy that I butcher his name all the time too, Jose. That's gaining a lot of traction. Graining a lot of, he really is. I've seen um, Scout actually take him in one of his recent mock drafts. This is definitely a sneaky, sneaky defensive tackle that you can get maybe to the, 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 the fourth and up. The fourth and up. I'm not going to get him in the first three rounds, Jose. We definitely need some defensive tackle help. Uh, me personally though, and just like TNOA said, he just read my mind. Uh, I do like uh, the potential that this guy brings to the table, but I'm looking at the Carl Brooks of the world. Um, you know, potentially there, there's a few other names out there that you can look at defensive tackle wise in those later rounds, but Carl Brooks is my guy out of Bowling Green, a guy that can play inside, play outside. That's the kind of guy I'm looking at, but he has been gaining a lot of traction as of late, um, uh, uh, going up a lot of guys, mock drafts. So stay tuned for that, man. Shout out to my dog, Jose. He's been bringing up a lot of names that a lot of people haven't really heard too much about. I love that shit, bro. Jose, keep it coming, my brother. Let me see. Um, yeah, see, TN08, Carl Brooks, late round still. Talk that shit. Let me see. Yeah, Kung Lao, I'm not going to talk too much about that, man. You know, I'm not going to talk too much about the whole uh, uh, sports bra debacle. Not going to go there, man, because I, I have my own thoughts on that, but I'm just going to leave it alone. They're heart monitors. They're heart monitors. Shout out to Raider Nation. Graf, would you draft Nolan Smith at seven? No, sir, E. Bob. It's not my job. I will do that. No, 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 no. Like um, Nolan Smith, I think he's going to be dope at the next level. Uh, me personally, though, no. At seven, that's a reach. The guy uh, dealt with, with injuries last season. Um, he can be, you know, a steal in this draft. If you trade back potentially, maybe, 
you trade back with the commanders at 16, maybe you look at Nolan Smith. I don't know. But at seven, no way in hell I go get Nolan Smith. Fan of his work, but I'm not going to get him at seven. I think that's a a, a very a, a reach, a reach. And I know some people have him as a, a top 10 pick. Me, sir, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. Uh, Raider Jorge, we've talked about uh, BF a lot. The defensive end out of uh, San Jose State as well. That's a guy that I've been taking a lot in those later rounds. And my mock drafts would definitely love um, to take him in those later rounds or potentially as a UDFA. You know, I'm Northern California biased, though. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Money Chuck says, Joe Tipman, center from Wisconsin, big steal in the third round and a day one starter. But the thing is this, Chuck, and, you know, I, look, I, I love – linemen from Wisconsin, big corn fed motherfuckers, right? I'm not against that. But at the end of the day, we have Andre James. We're paying him starter center money. He's still under contract. And it sounds as though this regime wants to extend him. So I don't really know why we would want to go get a center um, that early in the draft in, in, in the third. You know what I mean? There's too many defensive deficiencies. You know what I'm saying? Go attack the defensive side of the ball. And if you're going to go O-line, go get you a guard or a tackle at that point. You know what I mean? But Chuck, Definitely love Wisconsin uh, uh, tr guys in the trenches on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball, but I'm cool. Um, oh, Jose, that's one of my guys that I have the Raiders actually drafting. That's a guy that I have our team actually drafting in the fourth round, preferably. A guy that would have been a first round uh, guard out of USC. Um, I believe he didn't he tear his ACL or something at his pro day. Uh, and the guy still went and hit the weight bench. That's crazy to me. That's a Raider to me. That is a Raider. Go get Andrew Voorhees in the fourth round. Sit him for a year, and you have a potential all-pro at the guard spot for the next five to ten years. Salute to my dog, Jose, once again. And shout out to James Man Hobbs, especially when he's closer to the line of scrimmage due to his tackling ability, one of the best tacklers on his team. And toughness def definitely needs to be in the slot. I agree, James. Keep him in the nickel. Do not kick him outside. We need two starters on the outside. Duke Shelley may be one of them, and potentially – it could be Christian Gonzalez or Spoon. Shout out to our brother Hammer in the building. Yep. Yep. What's popping, bro? Hey, shit was good. Ah, man, just shooting the shit, man. I was like, you know what, man? I know we're going to do our show tomorrow, but I was like, let's just shoot the shit for a little longer. Why not? You know what I mean? So we here. Hey, let everybody know where they can get that hoodie at, man, or at least, at least some of the gear. Oh, th this hoodie is exclusive. This I know it's specially made, but let them know where they can get the Hammer gear at. Uh... My spread shirt, Raider Nation news today. There you go. And shout out to our brother, Ray the Tape, on the, um, on the Redemption brand hat as well. Love he just shirt. texted me and asked me if I had the same address, so I'm assuming he's about to send me a care package. I can't wait. So has the best hats in the business, man. Salute to our brother, uh, Ray the Tape. Let me see. Voorhees is a good reason to not draft uh, Skaronsky <laughs> at seven. You can get a good guard later. The thing is, Beck, one can play this year, one can't. But I agree. Muti, Parham, I'm cool with that mix at the guard position this year. Definitely. Yeah, the new WWE belt is official today, Rob. Talk that shit. <laughs> Tyreek Stevenson in the third from the U. What up, Hammer? What's Another guy on? that's kind of rising up dra uh, uh, draft boards as well. Tyreek Stevenson. Let me see. Pace Jr. out of Cincy. Love him, Roof. Another guy that I love. I'm um, out of Cincinnati. Let me see. Shout out to Jose once again. Hammer, what do you think of? I love that he brought this back up because I asked him to uh, ask you about this guy, particularly because you're a Texas Longhorn fan. What do you think about it? I don't know why my green screen is tripping in the back. Tonight. This Look, Moro is pretty much where he's going to end up, and that's probably going to be like a mid to late third, maybe early fourth round guy. He's not Tavondre Sweat, and Tavondre Sweat is a guy that – I'm looking forward to seeing what he does for UT this coming season because he will declare for the draft after uh, this coming year. Guys, I'm sorry. I could barely – I'm still trying to get used to wearing glasses now. I'm probably going to end up having to wear these shits during the draft. <laughs> it sucks. I got no more context. <laughs> but you a fan of him, though? You like him, O? I like him, um, but realistically, I really see him being more of a guy that's going to be um, – a rotational piece until he further develops his talents. I, that's that's what I see out of him right fourth, now. Fourth, fifth round? Late third, early fourth. Okay, okay. 
I like that. I like that. Um, shout out to Sally. He says Doc's got that new axe spray on. Damn, I ain't heard axe spray in mad long. Yeah, damn. What what movie was that? They're like anybody that wears axe is a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, whatever movie it was, they were right. I actually agree with that shit. And this is fact. Um, is overshone worth getting in the third? Uh, no, no. Oh, this is coming from a Longhorn fan. No. Oh, so what happened? No. Look, I I've said this countless times. This linebacking class is not the sexiest linebacking class in a long time. Um, overshone is a guy that I'm looking fourth round maybe fifth it's bad right now guys it's ve- um, it's bad it's very bad damn okay okay shout out to omni breast no, tony stark wears x <laughs> he's the shout out to Raider nation what the hey fuck? grab oh shit what you got going on what's going on i don't know you don't notice this shit this shit is like doing circles right now what the fuck god okay, damn yeah. it I hell of a shit. show tonight this shit is tweaking right now just did a full rotation. And then it just stopped at the cords on your TV. And that is hilarious. Again. Yo, fuck this. Hold up. Hey, Graf, we need to draft defense to get uh, to get at Patrick uh, Mahomes and Justin Herbert and Russell Wilson. But more after Patrick. This is facts, bro. We're, we're playing in, I, I'm calling it now, probably the toughest division in football this year. I know the NFL East got a lot better, you know, with, with um, you know, the Cowboys, the Eagles. The Giants, you know, the Commanders are probably going to be better this year. But, yeah, I think our division is going to be the toughest division in the league this year. So we definitely got to attack the defense side of the ball. John, you definitely miss Mitch. Um, he was on for about 30, 35 minutes. And then um, we actually had Cody on as well. So uh, we had two two of our brothers on tonight. Um, let me we, see. We had Shop the twins on, y'all. We had the twins on. <laughs> yep, there you go, the twinsies. Bringing in all the brothers in, man. What up, Hammer? Shout out to my brother Tony, man, as well. You know how we do it, man. We always like to bring all of our guys in, man, and shoot the shit. These are all guys that I look at as brothers in real life. Uh, got real respect for them. You know what I mean? And, 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 and we talk personally outside of this. You know what I mean? So these are my guys that um, I, I'm definitely put my stamp on in real life, not as just content creators, but men. You know what I mean? So salute to my guys, man, for all pulling up tonight. Go get Jaden Hassel, uh, Hasselwood in the late rounds or a UDFA. I'm not against that. You talking about TAA? It's about the young pup out of Arkansas, right? Uh, the wide receiver? I'm not against that. I'm not against that at all. Let me see. He said, uh, he said, damn, Hammer, your camera's trying. He said, what? Your camera's trying to put out your porn hub on a second screen. <laughs> Yo. That shit is hilarious, bro. Shout out to my brother Van City in the building, too. Um, man, we getting hot, bro. We always excited to get to Vegas. I'm always excited to be able to see my brothers in real life. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be fun, man. I don't think you guys understand the, the kind of fucking entertainment that Mount Shilmore has in person. You know what I'm saying? The, the Airbnb is going to be lit. Me, Hammer, Big Mike, Wasted, Halo. All of our brothers going to be in the building. It's going to be a fun, fun Fun, fun ride out there in Las Vegas, man. Um, yes, facts. Uh, Graf, remember when you used to make videos in the car at work? I definitely do, Kung Lao. Shout out to my dog. You must have been around for a long... Let me ask you guys this. Who remembers this? Who remembers this? Welcome to the Black Hole Raiders YouTube, y'all. It's your boy, Graphic Raider. Who remembers that? The views here, the views expressed <laughs> here, graphic podcast, the black hole of Raiders YouTube. Who remembers that? I remember that shit. Shout out to my day ones, man. That that remember that the, the you know the, the the views here expressed the graphic. I love it. I love it. Shout out to Omni. Yes, Hasselwood was at o- Oklahoma, and then went to Arkansas. Fifty nine receptions for seven hundred and two receiving yards, eleven point nine per, and three touchdowns and twelve starts in twenty twenty two. Four point six six forty. Slow. Slow. Yeah, man. Let me see. He said, sheesh. I remember. That's when I first started watching. Shout out to my brother, Big Mike. Shout out to Josh. Let's get into it. Shout out to all my guys, man. Omni says, the views expressed here are graphic. I remember. Shout out to my guys, man. We having fun tonight. We just shooting the shit. Raider Jim, I'm telling you now, man. Hammer's going to have to stop me from just turning over tables galore. <laughs> I, yo, I, I saw that comment earlier, and I, I think I replied. Uh, I quoted that shit on Twitter. I, I'm just waiting to see you do it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. 
I want to show y'all something. Since y'all think I just got away from everything that I used to do, let me show y'all something real quick. All right, we're going to go right here. Boom. We're going to go to planetraiders.com. Graphic views. So it's still there. It's still there. I don't know why I wasted to put graphic views. It was supposed to say uh, the views expressed here are graphic. But it is what it is. But it's still there, you guys. It is still there. I ain't never going to forget where I came from, man. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you that. Let me see. Craps all night, Docs. Will, I am, I am not a gambler, bro. I'm not a gambler. Uh, yes, Gibby. Barcode Burger is a, definitely a public event, and it's free. You do not have to pay anything. Just walk in and come rock with us, family. Oh That's God. it. Come in, have some drinks, have some food, and just enjoy the evening. Those three nights with all of us, man. It's free. It's definitely free. Yeah, Gus, hammer nose. <laughs> we, we, we had that conversation. I, I don't think I'm going to be drinking this trip. That that I rewatched that shit about a week ago, and I was like... Oh, yeah. you did call me. You called me after that. You said, yo, bro, I'm not drinking at this trip. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. But you guys, you have to realize my wife is the one who told Hammer to do it. And Hammer being a goofball, listening to his sis, he did it. And now he's a laugh. Uh, he's, 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 he's a laughing stock for years <laughs> because of it. <laughs> Shout out to Alex. I remember when you had Andy for the first time on your live with his long hair. There you go, Alex. A long time coming, man. Uh, Kung Lao, you had the black and white two minute videos. This is facts, bro. Uh, Rick, live shows come a long way. Great show graphic. I started watching this since Raider. My, I love that, man. Rick, I had him on. Who did I have on that night? Him, Oakland Knight, and Watts, I believe. I believe. I had all the OGs on at one night. Um, let me see. Yes, Shin, we will be live all three nights covering every round, every round. And we're probably going to be starting an hour before um, each round. So we'll be covering. The draft uh, hour uh, before and then probably 30 minutes after to kind of do, you know, a brief um, overview of what we thought of the draft. And then we'll keep it moving after that. I'm going to apologize in advance for uh, day one because I'm probably going to be half asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and Wasted got a long, long ride, long ride from from New York. And uh, yeah, that that's that's terrible. That's terrible. But if it makes you feel in fucking L.A. for an hour too, like, fuck. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, bro. Uh, I'll be well rested when you guys get there. So salute to you guys. Uh, shout out to Looney Rooney, 916, stand up, throwback for real. Shout out to my dog. Sacramento was definitely in the building, man. That's my hometown. I will be home also um, next month, the 20th through the 27th. I'll be in Sacramento. I'll be home for a whole week. So if anybody, any of my family is in the SAC area and want to get up and have a cigar, have a drink, let's, let's, let's get together and let's rock it out. Thanks. Let me see. Oh, that's better. Yeah, you straight. No, I'm saying the lighting, bro. This shit, like, it's I, my face looks like a fucking ghost. And you see, I, and I was like, wait, is that Stuart Schweigert? Is he in a basement? <laughs> Salute, man. I remember the first show we had with Stu. That shit was, I loved it, man. Me and him had instant connection, instant chemistry. And since that day, man, that's been my brother in real life. Um, uh, I've been here ever since you roasted Trent Brown. I, which one, classic man? Q, I did like seven skits on him. You talking about the one, you talking about the one in the kitchen um, at my job where I had the pillow under my fucking uh, thing and I was eating and drinking the Pepsi? That might be the one. That might be the one. Big Mike, and that is my favorite video outside of um, the giveaways that we do, right? Or not the giveaways, but like the charity work that we do. Like, you know, the, 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 the cancer, like all that stuff that we, like that's the most important ones. But that is definitely my favorite show I ever did when I got a chance to leave my job and come on a, on a screen and tell everybody I'm here full time now. This is what I do for a living. That that to me still gets me low key emotional. Like, damn, man, I really left a really high paying job, a really, really great job in high management to be able to talk Raider football for a living, man. Beautiful, man. It's because of you guys also, man. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this shit. So salute to you guys. Salute to Hammer and everybody else, man, that makes this shit even possible. Um, get your questions then, you guys. Let's talk about the draft. It is draft week. Let's talk about it. Um, Rick said, I remember when you had 1.2 subscribers. Yeah, man. Shit's crazy. Oh, there we go. I can't wait for that, Hammer. I like your earlier skit, Finding Julio Jones. For those who don't know. 
Bro, I went to every... Bro, I don't think you guys understand what I had to do to do that. I drove all the way to Alabama, bro. <laughs> like, I went to their stadium. Like, in Alabama. Like, like, yeah, bro. <laughs> no fucking time. <laughs> yeah, bro. And then went to Atlanta looking for him as well. Yeah. Shout out to Johnny. Yo, what up, Freak? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, bro. Jose, what's good? Oh, yeah, by the way, we, we talked about this the other day, and we'll promote it again tomorrow night as we do the final Raiders mock draft as we're three days away from the draft. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway for those that want to enter. $5 cash app, dollar sign, Hammer's House. Puts you in for a chance to win the 2023 Raiders draft hat, whether it be in the black one or the white one, whichever one you want. You enter after the draft, probably once we get back to the East Coast, throw your names in a wheel, whoever it lands on, you will be winning the 2023 Raiders draft cap of your choosing. So there you enter, y'all. Let's go. Hey, you guys, we're going to do something cool. And I haven't even told Hammer this yet. We're going to do something cool tomorrow for our final mock draft. You guys are going to be making all the picks. All of you guys. And what we're, and what we're going to do is, right, me and Hammer are going to write whoever's available on the mock. We're going off who's available. We're going to write all of ours on a piece of paper. Okay? You guys get to pick. So whoever has the most votes at seven goes. Whoever has the most votes in the second round goes. It's all you guys. All seven rounds. You know what I mean? So that is your mock draft tomorrow, you guys. And me and Hammer will be quietly writing our names down for the mock draft. And at the end of the mock, me and Hammer will be dropping all the names that we got in our seven-round draft pick, uh, mock draft. So there you have it. And that's the final mock before Thursday night. So before one more show. <laughs> yeah, one more show before the show arrives. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about it, man. Nashawn, uh, uh, a nation of pillagers. I always get, I always say Nishan, always. Uh, bro, Dorian Williams is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite linebackers in this draft. I would not be mad if we got him in that fourth round out of Tulane. I would love it. I would love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. Damn, so I didn't get to watch Wasted's mock draft. That shit was bad? I didn't get to watch it either. Everybody's saying that he had to keep starting over and shit. Shout out to my brother Andy, man. That's my dog. I just seen him in the gym earlier today. Um, bro, it was that bad? Damn, I think mine was. I did one a couple of weeks ago that was really, really bad, and everybody was like, "You need to fucking redo this shit." And it was, it was definitely like, even I could admit that was probably the worst one I did. I forgot some of the picks, but everybody's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" So, y'all gotta realize that wasted just flew in to Newark at like seven this morning. When I talked to him on the phone, he was one grumpy motherfucker. So, um, (laughs) yeah, mind you. In another three days, he's going to be flying back to Vegas. Damn, that man's going to be tired of shit. Yeah, facts. Hey, I got to read both of these from uh, from Jay real quick. Okay, so here we go. Witherspoon or Gonzalez first pick and second pick, Sanders or Sam Laporta? Because I think Campbell is gone to Buffalo. Love it, love it, love it. Shout out to my dog. And he says also, I'll just donate Hammer because I got both them hats. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Shout out to my guy. He, he's a real one like us, bro. I'm telling you, my dog do not miss on anything Raiders, bro. Shout out to my brother loving, Jason Hunter. I'm man. loving that picture, though. That shit is fire. Oh no, that bro, that's really what he got. That's his get up in real life. You got to see. Oh him. wait, wait, wait. That's my, oh sh- yo. Me and Jay spoke a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. yeah, yes, 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 yes. Bro, it's, hey, you see that not person? Gonna be there on Thursday. That shit is cold. Yeah, cold. we got a we, we we got something special in store. Whether it be in Thursday or Friday, y'all are gonna be like, what the fuck? So yeah. Yo, hold on. Wait, what? Even Ro was roasting and Ro was cooking his boots. Damn. <laughs> Damn, look at the way this draft was asparagus. asparagus. <laughs> Yo, horrible. He started over. He had us taking Paris in the first. Oh, AC said wasted hat was jet lag. Oh, my God, bro. Mm. Thank you guys for letting me know this, informing <laughs> me about this, because I am going to cook his ass right when this live is over. Thank you guys oh, for informing me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we flipping chairs and tables. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. They're only saying that because of Paris Johnson. Well, I'm here in Chicago once Paris Johnson. So yeah. I think he's as good as gone. 
when we yeah. did uh when yeah. we did the full my draft my yeah. draft that's where we had him going so we'll see and now and now rumors are swirling that that, that, that they want him so i mean come on it's easy it's an easy I call see, i really am intrigued to see how many we actually hit with our first round mock draft i'm real curious to see how it turns out yeah facts shout out to uh let me see omni says buddha baker d hop trenton simpson and, uh, and emmanuel Forbes. Excellent. <laughs> Bro, do you understand you get a number one receiver, which he'll be 1A, 1B with Devontae. You get Buda Baker, top three safety in the league. You get Trent Simpson, a sneaky linebacker at a Clemson, and Emmanuel Forrest, my favorite corner in the draft. Bro, I would love that. It's not going to happen, but I would love that, Omni. That would be cold, bro. That would be cold. I'm convinced right now, especially because of the trade that happened today. Shout out to Van City. I think D-Hop might end up in uh, going to the Jets. You think so? I think so. Well, he already said no. Did you see that video that he did? No, but now Rodgers is officially there. They asked him. They said, New England. He, they said, just use facial uh, feature. He said. They said, the Jets. He said. Oh, he said, shit. Kansas City. He said. Oh, God. And they said, Buffalo. And he went. I wouldn't. Him going to Buffalo would be fucking crazy. You no. have him and Diggs? Terrifying. <sighs> terrifying bro but look i don't want him in buffalo but as long as he doesn't go to kansas city i can yeah, live with I'm him on that. oh shit hold up shit what happened uh-oh let me see oh it was a mock draft docs hell yeah would love it <laughs> let me see so wasted said no tackle in his entire show, it takes the second best tackle. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Al, man, Apocalypse got Gonzalez, Campbell, and Forbes. Shout out to my brother Al, man. Let me see. I would love that. I would love that. Back to back to back, bro. You get Gonzalez, Forbes, and, and Jack Campbell. That'd be cold. Cloud Nice to see him punk. He was out there in Chicago today at WWE, but let me see. Oh, Kung, Lo, Kung Lao said his camera's about to start hitting donuts again. Let me see. Oh, shit. Something happened with Hammer, man. <laughs> Salute to everybody, man. Wipe them feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, you guys, we did have Mitch on for about the thir first 35 minutes of the show. We also had our brother Raider Cody come on for about 10, 15 minutes, kind of breaking down the draft. I'm going to be real. I, I, me and Mitch are both exhausted by talking about the same shit over and over and over again. So we kind of just came on to just talk a little bit with the nation. There really wasn't anything groundbreaking. I think we already know how my thought process is with this right now. I think we all understand where Mitch's thought process is because we're, so, we're live so much. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, we had them on earlier. Shout out to <laughs> Great Southern Trend Kill. There's a ghost in Hammer's house. It looked like it, bro. This is facts. Um. I meant Baltimore, possibly. It's not about the money for him. Let me see. Yo, you straight? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, you good. Yeah, so there's something that I was trying out, and I didn't realize, like, the shit apparently was a trial. So, like, all of a sudden, you heard this weird-ass static, and it's like, oh, your trial is over. It's something that I'm trying to do to loop a whole bunch of different audio so, like, everything will work. Like, you heard the um, the draft uh, tone before, right? Yeah. I know it's perfectly clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to fucking get the full version of this shit because I think this was something that one of my supervisors was like, yo, you got to use this now. Fuck! Hammer got a ghost in the machine taking over his camera, electrical spirit. Eh? Yo, yo, real quick, shout out to my brother Mikey, man. He just sent me this and told me to play this, you guys, um, on the live right now. He just sent me this little sound bit. So look. Wasted, drafted a bunch of fucking scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> yo, y'all are fools. Shout out to my brother Mikey, man. Shout out to my brother Mikey. Um, John, they are uh, my family is always great, man. All blessings. Getting ready for some football camps here soon. I'm going out there dolo this time. Um, 
But uh, yeah, no, they got like 12 footballs, bro. They don't need another football. But um, I'll say this. They will definitely be coming with me to Vegas soon. And um, hopefully it's for good. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, Tony, definitely. Man. The, the lives will be fun after this because what we get a chance to do is we get to break down each player during a live. You know what I'm saying? Like after the live, we're going to have so much more material to work with. We can, we can start, you know, diagnosing. There's just so much different shit we can do. We can start breaking down the, the, the schemes and where this player is going to fit in this particular. It's going to be fun, man. Yep. It's definitely going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, what do you think about? Hold on. Cali boy, Mitch is already out the building, family. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out what Nation of Pillages mean. What do you think about AZ trending on trading back in the? Oh, oh, trading back in the draft. I, I think it's official. I, I think if 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 I think Will Anderson's gone at two with the Texans. And then at that point, I think that AZ is trying to trade back. They need as much draft capital as they can get. I'll give you a first, a third, the next year, second for that fucking number three overall. Let's go. Talk that shit, Hammer. Um, Jose, the next flag football game is always going to be moving forward the first weekend of the first home opener. So every home opener, every year, we're going to do our <laughs> annual uh, Oak Las Vegas flag football game. So stay tuned for that. So whenever we play our first home game, we'll set it up for that weekend, my brother. And apparently I'm playing quarterback moving forward. Yes, you are. And me and Wasted's old asses are head coaches. We're not even trying to get on the field. The way my back is set up, I won't. Yeah, it'd be disgusting. Uh, Ken, I got you, brother. I got you, King. Um, we got Raw coming on the 1st of May. I will be there for the WWE draft. Is it out here? It's in Dallas? Is it? Oh, I'm going. It's a wrap. I'm there. I am there. Shout out to Halo. But you guys, with, with that being said, Hammer, you got anything to say, bro? You, you want to let the nation know anything you got going on or whatnot? I'm because the money chuck real quick. Uh, Doc's Hammer, CJ Stroud falls to three, and we trade up for him. How do you react? Um, I'll probably do exactly what Doc's just did and probably lose my voice uh, at Barcode, and you guys probably won't hear me uh, the rest of the weekend. <laughs> money chuck, let me ask you this. What did we give up in order to move up four spots? Let me ask you that. That's what it all depends on. What did we give up to move up to three? What if it was what I just pitched? And Say I didn't even, I said, what if it's what I just pitched? Our first, our third, next year's second. And I didn't even include Hunter Renfro in that deal. Oh, I would love it. I'm cool with that. I can, bro, one of our thirds. So basically, we just gave up the Waller pick. Mm -hmm. And a future second. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. I don't think if, I don't know if it gets it done because I mean they know we're moving up to get a quarterback, so I think they're gonna ask for the farm. But if that, that's all it was, shit. Hey, take that shit for real. Jose says, "Hammer, are you getting the new WWE title?" I don't, I don't know. Look, the 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 Universal was won in a raffle. Um, shout out to John. And what he does on his Facebook group page with all the titles, they do swaps, they do this, that, and the third. I won that in a raffle. The, uh, the, uh, the real deal one, which is valued at close to $3,000, uh, was a gift for myself. And uh, I don't know. That new one, I'm a little, eh, we'll see. I want to get a couple of UFC titles, though. Yo, Jay, so it's at the Dickies Arena again. That, that's where I seen you at SmackDown, right? <laughs> that's where I seen you at, at uh, SmackDown. With, with the wife and kids. Oh, bro. Hey, I'm going with you, bro. Say less. We, we there. We're going. Let me know where you sitting at so I can get some tickets. Be Jack, I was watching this live earlier. Trust me. It's never happening ever again. <laughs> Ridgeback said, hey, Docs, how many beers would it take for Jimmy G to hang at the Gold Rush in ATL? Oh the God. Gold Rush. God damn, y'all. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me see. I'm not endorsing that trade, but it could happen. It definitely could, Chuck. Mm. That's but yeah. Thinking from the mind of a GM. We got one live left, you guys. One live. Tomorrow night, breaking down the mock draft. Our last and final mock draft. I'm excited about this. 
Um, because that means I get to take Wednesday off, travel and be traveling, get to go out there and kick it. And then we right back to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, where we are going to be live at least probably five hours each day. <laughs> uh, we, we did it last time at the Ahern. I think I lost my voice for two days. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, man. Shout Good out to our brother Halo too. Halo going to be there. I see my brother in the chat. Um, think about it. We didn't have a first round pick last year. Or a second. Or a second when we did this. Yeah. Imagine how this shit is going to be when we have a first and second. And hopefully they do the right thing. Look, I put something up the other day on Twitter. And I'm going to say this to you guys in the chat now. I really hope the Raider Nation trusts the office and let everything run its course this coming weekend. And I hope everybody walks out happy as fuck. Bro, I didn't. I forgot that we literally went two whole rounds where we covered the draft without any Raider shit. Yep. Damn, yep. It, that trip was a blur, bro. Like I, I really totally forgot. Room. Yes, we did. On day one without a pick. Yep. Wow, that's I totally forgot about that. Like I, I always remember that we haven't had we didn't have a pick to the third, but I totally forgot that we covered the entire draft that whole time. But even the pick in the third, like look. Ahern was still packed, oh, and people yeah, went good. nuts when we got that pick. So I, I'm I'm excited, and I'm I'm really intrigued to see how the turnout's going to be when we're a barcode. It's I can't wait. I cannot wait. Once again, you guys pull up the barcode Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like I said before, barcode burgers, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to be covering the entire draft. Five dollar Woodson whiskey shots every time the Raiders are on the clock. You guys, so make sure you guys come rock with us. Have a drink. Get a plate. Come rock with Shilmore. We're going to have a ball, you guys. For real, for real. Thanks for little bro for pulling up tonight. Awesome. Thank you to our brother Mitchell Renz. Thank you to our brother Raider Cody. My heartburn is starting to kick the hell in. Old as hell. With that being said, man, shout out to the nation. On the way out, you guys, wipe them feet, meaning hit them thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. Hammer, let them know where they can follow you at as well before we get out of here. For those that are out of the loop, Raider Nation news today, and I think we're like nine away from 6,300 right now. So appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. There we go, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. As always, we outro. Sanctioned by the new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all.